Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Deacon plays detective, Hope makes a huge announcement, and more Sheila reactions. The bold and the beautiful BNB spoilers for the next two weeks, April 8th to 19th, suggest that Deacon Sharp Sean Cannon will continue to grapple with the shock he received at the crematorium where he discovered the body had ten toes. During the week of April 8th to 12th, Deacon will try to explain the problem to Carl Ferret, Sean Whalen, who now works at the crematorium. Carl may doubt if Deacon can be certain of what he saw, especially because all he wants in this world is for Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, to return to him. Although Deacon only saw a glimpse of those feet before the evidence was erased, he remains convinced that the body had one extra toe than his beloved Sheila. After the memorial John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, will reconnect with Hope Logan, Annika Noel, before rejoining Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood. Steffi will inquire about Finn's experience at the memorial, and he will open up about how strange and maybe healing it was for him. Finn can't make sense of his complicated emotions right now, but he may confess that it helped him say goodbye to his birth mother. However, Finn will be taken aback when Deacon summons him later, and provides updates on the crematorium's progress. Deacon will persuade Finn that he saw ten toes rather than nine, and that Sheila may still be alive. Finn will quickly get concerned about Deacon's sanity and feel as if he is losing touch with reality. Despite Deacon's claims that Sheila may have traded places with the lookalike, Finn will believe Deacon requires expert assistance. Later, Deacon would get in Rich Forrester's, Torsten K. face about Sheila, prompting him to go on a rant over how she has been handled. Will Deacon also convey to Rich that Sheila may have survived? Rich will press Deacon to embrace the hard reality of the situation, so he may argue that Sheila has left for good and they're all better off. According to other BNB teasers, Finn will give some shocking news to Steffi, most likely informing her about Deacon's accusations regarding Sheila being alive and gone. Steffi should hear the story of the ten-toed body, so she'll have to judge for herself whether Deacon's belief is crazy or true. Although Steffi will find that the police investigation is closed, she will have to deal with this new problem, while also worrying about Sheila possibly returning to torment her. At Forrester Creations, Hope will announce Hope for the future's new design partners, implying that she will officially put Zen Forrester Dominguez, Delon de Metz, and RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, together. Hope will also want Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, to collaborate with Zend, which will make Luna stress out deep down. Zend will reveal his genuine thoughts about Luna during a conversation with Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor. Carter may worry that Zend is playing with fire by longing for, and even pursuing RJ's girlfriend. Luna's remorse will grow stronger, and she will cry to RJ, insisting on telling him something. RJ will piece together some facts and conclude that Luna is attempting to tell him something about the night of Eric Forrester's, John McCook party. Luna will begin her confession, but will she actually tell RJ about inadvertently popping special mints and ending up in bed with Zend? It's possible that Luna will stop blabbing like she has before and steer her confession in a less controversial route. BMB fans will experience the fallout from whatever Luna reveals throughout the week of April 15th to 19th, so we'll see if she comes clean or has a near miss. Back with Deacon, he can't get the thought of an alive Sheila out of his mind. Deacon may decide he needs to play detective and begin working to unravel the mystery. Clint Howard will make a few appearances as a homeless man named Tom later this month, so Deacon's inquiry could pave the way for Tom's forthcoming revelations. Steffi may also become more concerned about Sheila's impending return and the chaos that could ensue. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that the next two weeks will be jam-packed with drama, so we'll bring you more predictions on Sheila's plotline and much more. Steffi reels over Sheila's return Finn shares Deacon's stunning news. According to the bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers, Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, hopes to finally put an end to the Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown saga. Steffi has recently had a goodbye and good riddance mentality, so she expects Deacon Sharp's Sean Cannon memorial to be the end of the turmoil. John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, may reveal to Steffi that attending the service helped him achieve the closure he sought. Finn, like Steffi, may insist on putting Sheila behind him and focusing solely on their family's future. However, Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, 
We'll throw a wrench in that plan after discovering the crematorium. The burned body had ten toes so it couldn't have been Sheila. This must be a similar situation. So Deacon will offer his theory to Finn and confront some skepticism. Although Finn will think Deacon has lost his mind, he will feel forced to tell Steffi about the conversation later. Finn must share this information with Deacon since he believes Sheila is still alive. Of course, Finn may dismiss the suggestion and claim that Deacon's anguish has pushed him over the line. Although Steffi may want to believe that, she understands how Sheila operates and may be considerably more concerned than Finn is. Will Steffi immediately worry that Deacon is correct? Sheila has returned from the dead on multiple occasions, so Steffi may assume she has done it again. Steffi might persuade Finn that this isn't something they can just reject. Finn's updates may cause Steffi to sleep with one eye open, worrying that Sheila will target her at any time. Even if Steffi relaxes and tries to think Sheila is actually gone, doubts may arise in the back of her mind. Steffi may suspect that Sheila staged her death and is contemplating a furious return. The bold and the beautiful spoilers believe Sheila will make an intriguing reappearance sooner or later. Will Deacon count the toes? What discovery will Deacon Sharp make? Now that Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, and John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, have said their heartfelt goodbyes to Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, with Hope Logan, Annika Noel, the only other person in attendance at her memorial, it's time for her to be taken to the crematorium, but Deacon can't bear to let her go. To that purpose, he joins her there to say one last goodbye before her body is reduced to ashes. Does he view all of her body, including her lower extremities? The Bold and the Beautiful Spoiler Friday, April 5th. Will Deacon count the toes? If he does, would he notice that the woman about to be cremated has all ten toes? If he does, then this is not Sheila Carter. B&B Spoilers. Hope Logan and Finn Finnegan bond. Would Finn be pleased to find that Steffi Forster Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes would? Did not kill Sheila in the middle of their living room, but instead murdered someone else? Probably, since he is still sitting at I.L. Giordano, mourning her. Hope is by his side to at least listen to him, while his wife rejects and utterly ignores his sentiments. Also read. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Steffi's surprise pregnancy throws Finn for a loop. Hope understands what it's like to be perplexed by feelings for someone everyone tells her she shouldn't love, and she surely understands what it's like for Steffi to decide what's best for you, so she can empathize. Will she have any advice for Finn while her father bids farewell to who they believe is Sheila? The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Eric Forrester and Lauren Fenmore continue to celebrate. As the funeral concludes and the few people in attendance deal with their mixed emotions, Eric Forrester, John McCook, and Lauren Fenmore, Tracy E. Bregman, know exactly how they feel about Sheila. They are overjoyed she is gone, and the champagne flows as they celebrate and toast her death. This is the best news they could have dreamed for, and they don't understand why the customers at the Italian restaurant are so depressed. Would Steffi like to join in on the fun with Grandad?